example, there's no relief for AAP MP Sanjay Singh after the Delhi court extended his custody till Friday, October 13th. The central agency told the court that Singh was not cooperating with the investigation and further requested an extension of his custody for five days. The Enforcement Directorate further added that the material collected during the investigation shows that a bribe was taken to give liquor licenses. Now, the AAP MP strongly contested ED's claim, saying that he can't be forced to plead guilty and accuse the ED of asking Indian questions. He also said that he was not even confronted with the other accused. Now, Sanjay Singh also told the court that there is a risk to his life through a staged encounter. All right, so that is, of course, the latest as far as Sanjay Singh's uh, ED custody is concerned. It has been extended till October 13th. Remember, this is in the Delhi uh, liquor policy uh, case. Um, Singh was, of course, arrested on 4th of October by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with its money laundering probe linked to the 2021-22 Delhi excise policy case. Now, what we are picking up is that uh, Sanjay Singh has also gone on to uh, contest the claims made by the Enforcement Directorate, saying that he cannot be forced to plead guilty. He's also accused the uh, central agencies of asking any questions. He said that he was not even confronted with the other accused in this particular case. Now, now, Sanjay Singh's also made pertaining remarks, so saying that the court, that there's a risk to his life through a stage encounter. But to give us more perspective about the legal proceedings as far as this is concerned, my colleague Bhavatosh brings more details. Uh, the custody of Sanjay Singh has been extended by three days. Uh, that means that on Friday he will be produced uh, before the relevant court. Uh, he was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in a very dramatic manner uh, last week when uh, ED officials reached his residence and then uh, within a uh, within few hours he was searched. He was served summons and then formally arrested in this case. The, key, uh, the case took a, uh, obviously it took a political turn uh, with opposition saying that uh, these federal probe agencies are being used to target opposition leaders. ED on its pa uh, part had said that they have alleged a money trail that links uh, Sanjay Singh uh, to a kickbacks worth 2 crore rupees which have been vehemently denied by Sanjay Singh both inside the court and also outside the court. He claims that he had not received any kickbacks. ED's remand note does mention that around 2 crore rupees was uh, paid uh, uh, through uh, paid by Dinesh Arora through one of his aides. That aide has also been summoned and questioned by the enforcement directorate here at the headquarters. One of his aides also, Vinit Tyagi, was uh, called in for questioning uh, by the enforcement directorate on Monday. And then again, uh, Dinesh Arora was called by the enforcement directorate. Uh, this morning, another businessman was called uh, by the enforcement directorate. As far as this case is concerned, the alleged excise scam is concerned. Uh, this case, uh, in fact, uh, was registered by the Enforcement Directorate last uh, August. This has seen two big arrests taking place. The first one was Manish Sisodia, uh, who was then Deputy CM of Delhi. And then uh, Sanjay Singh was arrested. Sanjay Singh uh, today in the court had said that he was expecting the Enforcement Directorate uh, that they will come and uh, they will arrest him. But he again told the court that he has not destroyed any mobile phones or has been involved in any alleged uh, excise scam or he had uh, taken any kind of kickbacks.